Hello to everyone. This is Patella TV. You are learning and training platform about business courses. I'm called Benone. We are going to continue our subject of auditing. The last session we have talked about two background and introduction to auditing and we talk about two assurance we really define it assurance and really talk about types of assurance where we define we differentiate clearly the levels of assurance engagement where we see we have three levels of assurance engagement the first one are the reasonable assurance the second one we have seen limited assurance the third one we have seen the absolute assurance engagement so today's session we are going to talk about two inherent limitation of an audit and talk about two auditing so dear friend dear lovers we have seen that in express in expressing absolute assurance as exp absolute assurance is assurance where an auditor can say that the subject matter confer two criteria a hundred percent but we see that those assurance those level assurance can never be given because they are in a little limitation is of an audit that affected the auditor's ability to detect the material misstatements in a set of financial statement. So the inner letter limitation of an audit is any factor which affect the auditor's ability to detect the material misstatement in a set of financial statement. So inherent limitations of an audit dear friend is a main route for not concluding absolute assurance engagement is main route for not concluding that the subject matter confirm to criteria a hundred percent so in a little limitation is of an audit arise due to the following reasons. The first reason are the use of a judgment in establishing estimates for reporting purpose. The management of an entity made estimate useful life of asset make estimate some of provision provision for debt for debt provision for part debt provision for depreciation so in establishing those estimates the management may overstate or understate those provisions or those useful life of asset so those judgment may affect uh, the auditor's ability to detect uh, material misstatement in a set of financial statement. The second reason are the human error. Even management of 
entity and auditor may make an error in exercising his or her duties so that why does also limit ability of the auditors to detect the material misstatement in a set of financial statement so the another reason is the complexity of the transaction involved so some entities some businesses may involve in related party transaction mainly the related party transaction may be co may be complex complexity in analyzing of that transactions or the nature of the business may be difficult to be analy analyzed so those factor also affect the auditor's ability to detect the material misstatement in a set of financial statements so the use of sampling techniques by an auditor in conducting the different audit procedures so when the auditor are exercising his duties is required to make a sampling when are uh, when are uh, finding the evidences so may take some items few items and check it and the remain items not check it it is possible that that remaining items not checked contain a material means statement to a set of financial statements so those sampling techniques those those sampling may affect may affect the auditor's ability to detect material means a statement in a set of financial statement so another reason is auditor does not have investigative light in the KMT demand certain information or evidence from management if if used by the management so the an auditor may request the management to provide to him or her some evidences some information but the management refuse refuse to give that information to the auditors in that case the auditors Auditors lack some evidences, some information for enhancing his conclusion. So that factor also affected the abilities of auditor to detect a material misstatement in a set of financial statement. Another reason is the cost benefit limitations. So means that the cost even if gaining evidence may be higher than the benefit of gaining that evidences so conducting audit engagement requires resources which an auditor might not have or in the auditor's judgment the cost of gaining additional assurance will be higher than the benefit gained and it does not obtain it auditing so auditing we are going to discuss on this session mainly or in this subject is mainly external audit so those audit is defined as independent examination of the books of account and the vouchers of the business 
with a view of forming an opinion as to whether these have been keep the property according to the company's acts and as to whether the statement draw therefore there from portray a true and a fair view of the company's state of affairs as at a given date so this definition is understandable but is long let me analyze about to this definition so i highlighted some keywords in this definition where we are going to to explain it very well when we say an auditor is independent examination we really say those books of account are going to be examined are obliged or are a stated are qualified account by the companies act means companies act states the books of account the futures which are going to be examined so those is independent examination the dependent examination of the books of account and the vouchers it is legal requirement so the for the entities it is obligatory to examining of its books of account and vouchers so no relationship with the parties that have interest in the company means a person who carries an audit an external audit may be independent means have no relationship with the parties that have interest in the company means those independent auditor exercise his duties without any pressure from other parties without any influence or without any threat to independence so the fourth one are the requirement from the accounting professional bodies so independent examination is examination conducted by the someone who recommended or who from any accounting professional bodies in order to be qualified so those accounting professional bodies may be cpa cca or other accounting professional bodies so those are independent examination really mean so in this definition we are we are stating a books of account the books of account which are stated in the, this definition for example we have cash books ledgers asset ledgers journals shareholders registers those are the books of account the features stated which are going to be examined are the features of the business the features of the business are the source document such as purchase invoice sales invoice a receipt a bank strip the opinion in the definition are examining the books of account and vouchers in the forming view whether those are keep it according to the companies acts so opinion is stated in definition the the opinion may be qualified opinion or unqualified opinion the statement is stated at the balance sheet the profit and loss account and the fund for statement 
when you say true and fair view you really mean true for a profit loss and account item and fair for balance sheet item so this means that the auditor will say that the items in the financial statement or financial statements are prepared are presented according to the suitable criteria according to the international financial reporting standard international accounting standard general assembly accounting principles some companies act and are and the information presented in the data statement are based on sufficient appropriate evidences so dear friend dear lovers we are going to stopping the session today here tomorrow we continue to discuss about to this subject of audit where we are going to see needs for audit and assurance services with other main topics what I'm going to require to request you to beg you is to subscribe to this YouTube channel to Patera TV in order to continue getting your valuable knowledge getting skills getting competencies and experiences about business courses please do not leave without your comment do not leave without your subscribe subscription for motivation to us thank you for watching god bless you stay with peace